Good morning. Before we begin, please be sure that all cell phones are turned off during Mass. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, August 8th. In our liturgy, we're celebrating the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We welcome everyone, especially all visitors, to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. Now, if everyone would please stand, we'll begin today's liturgy. Our gathering hymn is number 26 in the Missalette. Praise to the Lord, number 26. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, good to have you for Mass. Welcome, everyone. Thanks to the Lord for this time of prayer, a beautiful day, and his help in our week ahead. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the heart.
us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered to get him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked for 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horab. The word of the Lord. my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out to the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he them. Taste 
and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. <coughs> the Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven. Jesus answered and said, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me drew him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in, in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes he has eternal life. I am the bread. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh for, my, for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord.
It's good to be back with you again, everyone, and welcome. I was off on a little trip to see family and be part of a very fun wedding. Some good friends of mine out in Florida and uh, time with some buddies from my seminary days on the Jersey Shore. Uh, thanks for keeping an eye on the place for me. I was pleased to come down the street and see that the bell tower is still standing and the church ain't burned down and, and uh, everything in good shape. Uh, so thank you for uh, keeping a good eye on the place. Anyone else in from out of town to join us for Mass today? Folks, where are you in from? Louisiana. Okay, that wins a distance award so far. Anybody else? Okay, Louisiana, good to have you. And? Okay, welcome from Louisiana. The readings speak of, of a nourishing God. We're nourished by Jesus. And in that Gospel of John that we're reading now for uh, the last few weeks and a couple more to come, where he gives that description of the Last Supper uh, where, with all the detail of, of, uh, of his great prayer and, and instruction to the disciples and the, and the washing of the feet, uh, but not the words of the institution. Uh, John takes that for granted and, and rather kind of uh, unpacks the, 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 the gift of, of the Mass in, in the discourse that we're hearing now. He's speaking to uh, the Israelites and his disciples. I am the bread come down from heaven. Who eats this bread will live forever, for the bread I give is my flesh for the life of the world. We are nourished by Jesus. And there's two senses of that nourishing in the gospel today. One is hearing the word of the Father. That's why all the sacraments are mass included. Spend a good bit of time, first of all, our very first half of the Mass is our liturgy of the Word. Stand up, sit down, sing, fight, fight, fight. Uh, uh, there's uh, there's uh, uh, an elaborateness and a, and a deliberateness to, to, to what we do, uh, our, our hearing and our receiving uh, that nourish us. It impacts us even in small ways and even in big ways. Word that guides us to live as St. Paul calls on the Ephesians in his day and, and us today by putting bitterness and fury, anger, the shouting and reviling that is uh, uh, plenty rampant these days and allows us to set it aside and in place take on how to do it and the strength to do it by God's nourishing us for compassion, for forgiving, even as God forgives us in Christ. To be imitators of God. To imitate God, huh? Think how a child imitates what mom and dad says and does, and so because of that, parents have to be careful what they're saying and doing, huh? Imitators of God as beloved children to do what God does and live in love as Christ loved us. And that happens, like I said, in, in big and little ways. And by way of a meditation, allow me to... Uh, 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 point out a, a little uh, show and tell. My doctor tells me I need to take a, a vitamin every day. This is uh, Centrum uh, Silver for men over 50. Darn it, that's me. Supplement facts. One serving size, a tablet. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin. How do you eat this stuff? With a knife and fork, it sounds like. But they put it in a one little itty bitty capsule that I swallow with a good glass of water to uh, keep me uh, better hydrated, like the doctor tells me, and, and off I go. Huh? Itty bitty things, those little vitamins way in there, inside and all mixed up and, and, and varied and, and the doctors tell us this is what's for our health. But you can't live on vitamins. 
you, uh, 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 no matter how much we try to put in these things, we still need, huh? The salad, the vegetables, the fruits, the meats, the poultry, the cheese, the dairy, the yada, yada, yada. Well, much we know in here still ain't enough. Science hasn't been able to duplicate a healthy meal. And yet in those little ways, them things keep our, our energy up, our health improved, our growth stronger, our healing faster, and we put great trust in them. What is this, about a $20 vitamin uh, bottle at uh, CVS, and yet we willingly, happily do it, trusting that those little itty bitty things are working on our behalf. God's word, God's sacrament, does the same. One of the fun things about travel for me is the food. The restaurants on the side of the road, one time I was, and I, I have a habit of doing this, is uh, right around lunchtime or, or maybe a, a late breakfast, you, 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 you get off at one of the old U.S. routes instead of buzzing along fast on the interstate, and you stop at a county seat somewhere out there where uh, uh, in the town square there's going to be the, uh, the courthouse and, and, and the, the lawyer's offices and the, and the, uh, and the shops and, and, and the post office and the police department, a nice little town square where maybe in a, a beautiful courthouse uh, from uh, uh, earlier days when they, they built things more beautifully, and inevitably uh, a little place to stop for lunch and to see what's on the menu. What's the daily special for the, uh, for the workers uh, there at the courthouse and the, and the, the lawyers and, and all the town folk come in, folks coming into town for their shopping and whatnot. And, and uh, one time I, I asked for the house special and, uh, and they, they brought me lunch and a, and a salad bar that had tomatoes just as big as a football. Oh, red and juicy and beautiful and, 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 and just busting with a flavor like you, like you can't get on a store shelf. Huh? I asked them, oh, where did these come from? She said, they're fresh out of my garden. I said, ma'am, these tomatoes were worth the stop. The local food, the, the hospitality of your friends and, and your family. Uh, uh, I got to, to visit with, uh, with one family I've known since my first day in, in uh, a seminary at a new place uh, uh, back in 1989. And, and uh, Mama threw together a meal that would just knock your socks off all the way down to dessert, a pie worth the plane trip. Huh? A uh, 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 tiny little gal uh, who could get blown over in a five mile an hour wind, and 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 yet the, the energy, and and the love, and the gift of self that goes into food. Hmm? Food, a, a, a gift of the land. Food, a a gift of of all those yummy critters. Of, of fish, of fowl, and, uh, uh, and, and animals, uh, the energy of, of sun uh, and, and wind and rain, the busyness of the bees, uh, it all goes into uh, uh, pouring out the very selves uh, for, for our nourishment. And then we, in turn, pouring out ourselves in our work, in our love, in our energy and care and attention that go into a meal and supporting a family and creating a home and laying out an Italian spread that brought me all the way out from Southern California. That's a gift of self. God does precisely that for us, a gift of self. And where does that gift land? It lands in our hands, in our amens, on our tongue, 
It lands in all the variety that comes down this aisle. Like one uh, uh, a psychologist says, uh, uh, what does it mean to be Catholic? It means here comes everybody. Well, here we come. And one of the, one of the, 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 the frequent meditation of mine, a, a thing that strikes me and invites me to prayer is to, is to pay attention to those hands of yours. The young little ones that are, 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 are kind of nervous and, and, and busting with energy and fun and play. The, 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 the older ones that have seen a lot of miles and a lot of labor and a lot of love. The soft ones of, of, a, of a manicured elegance uh, and beauty. Uh, the, the harder ones, maybe the calluses of a, of a, a young fellow who's, who's, who's pulling rows and uh, oars in, a, in, a, in, a, uh, in, in, in sport or, or a weight bar at the gym. Uh, the, the, the stains of, of uh, uh, a housekeeper who's painting a room and still has a little bit of those speckles and, and, and stains in their, in their fingernails and, 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 and skin. Uh, the, the, the darker stains of a, of a mechanic or a, or a carpenter or a, a, a bricklayer. Our hands tell us so much about ourselves. You all have beautiful hands, huh? And they come eager, and they come eager uh, to, to, to receive and to do, to give. And a heart and a mind and a soul that speaks amen. That's a Hebrew word, you know that we've never bothered to translate. In all the languages where God's word has, has been proclaimed, it's never been translated. Neither amen, nor alleluia, or hosanna. They go back to our oldest roots of the Hebrew. Amen means so it is. I agree. Count me in. You're darn tootin'. Amen. Let's be grateful to a Lord who nourishes us for our work and our rest, for our growing and our healing, and who comes into our lives to strengthen us so that we may respond with faith and live the life of disciples of a nourishing Lord God. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into the heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Taking comfort in God's bountiful provisions let us bring our prayers to the Lord. That Pope Francis, the bishops, priests, and all church leaders may be steadfast and blessed in their ongoing defense of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For leaders of governments, 
They may initiate policy that brings peace among peoples, protects the unborn, and supports universal religious freedom. Let us pray to the Lord that those in our world who are suffering from persecution and feeling hopeless may find comfort in their faith in our merciful God. Let us pray to the Lord that each of us may develop a deeper reverence for the Eucharist and always receive it worthily. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in our parish family who are sick and in need of healing, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died and endured the storms of this life, may they find a holy rest in God's ambient embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. And we have a celebration today for one of our beloved parishioners and her very fine family that join her for Mass today. Marie Rollins turns 90 years old. Marie, where are you? Put your hand up so we can see you and all of her family. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thrilled to be with you today. So for her intentions, uh, in gratitude for, for her, uh, uh, her, the many blessings of 90 years and, and uh, a new year of life filled with many more, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the voices of your children in prayer, and may we be grateful for all your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in singing number 473, Christians Let Us Love One Another, number 473. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our glory and the law of his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy you've given them to be offered. And by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race bound by one world might be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities foreshadowed here. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who've died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This much is with you. All in peace. sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. is number 612, The Cry of the Poor, number 612. Thank you. 
join in singing number 348, The Supper of the Lord, number 348. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we've consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple announcements before we go. Please be seated. Learn about all the major people, places, and events in the Bible and the story of salvation history through our Bible Timeline study class, which starts Tuesday morning, September 14th at O'Donnell Hall. Register now. There are still a few seats available. This year's Faith Formation Sessions for families with children in grades 1 to 12 restart in September. <clears throat> Registration forms are being sent to all families previously in the program and should be returned as soon as possible. If any families are new to the parish or did not receive the forms, please contact John Brucia in our Youth Ministry Religious Education Office. If you know anyone who may be thinking about becoming Catholic or would like a refresher course in the basic teachings of the Catholic Church, our CIA classes begin <clears throat> Wednesday evening, October 6th in O'Donnell Hall. Registration is currently taking place. For more information, contact Greg Kelly, our Director of Adult Faith Formation, or one of the parish priests. Details of all parish activities are in this weekend's bulletin. Please take a copy home with you as you leave today. And there's a flyer in the back of the church regarding our altar server program that is happily resuming. Uh, so we invite our young ones, ages nine and older, uh, those who've had their first communion, uh, for a training session on Saturday, August 21. This is for both our new ones and, and our uh, uh, past servers as well who'd like to uh, uh, pitch in. It'll be Saturday, August 21, so next Saturday, huh? Uh, 9 a.m. beginning, and then we'll serve lunch and uh, be done by 3. So that's next weekend for our altar servers who are most welcome and will be thrilled to, uh, to have them back. Uh, and then finally, a, a, a communion to uh, the, the sick and the homebound. Would you come on up, sweetheart? A wonderful old custom that's uh, been there since our earliest days of uh, being sure uh, those who can't come to Mass, Mass comes to them.
Thanks everyone for your singing and your prayer and your being here and your support. Good to be with you on a beautiful Sunday. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Glorify the Lord. Fire alive. Thanks be to God. Our hymn is number 425, I Sing the Mighty Power of God, number 425. Oh, now this is a good one, so everybody get your hymnals out. Let's go, people. <laughs> Oh, God, oh. 